Hello YouTubers, welcome to the TNT. Now, I'm going to show you the way how to know if your alternator is working. Well, how to distinguish between your alternator and your battery, depending which one is gone. This is the easy way to do it. As you can notice over here, I've got a car just off camera running. It's a Toyota Corolla D4D 1.4. And um, you start it, turn it on and off a couple of times, it won't basically start. So, we know we have a problem with the battery or we have a problem with the alternator. So let's see which one it is and how to test it. Now as you can see, I've just got it ticking over. No lights, no nothing on at the minute. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my battery tester on it. Now what you wanna make sure is, I'm testing the alternator first, so I wanna put the battery on the actual leads, not the actual stub of the battery. So I'm gonna put it on the actual lead of the battery. Now there's nothing on at the minute and basically, as you can see, 12.4, 12.5 volts. Now you might think, now you might think, well it's 12 volt battery, so that's good enough. It isn't. Uh, 12 volt isn't enough. But what we need to do to really determine what's going on, we need to turn everything on. So put the lights on, put the lights on full beam, turn the radio on, turn the heater all the way up, turn everything on you can in the car. And to do that, I'll turn the camera back on and we'll see what it's at then. Now, as we can see, the full beams are on. It's just there's a bulb missing that side. So the lights are on, the heater is on. Let's see what it's reading now. As we can see, it's gone down to 11.1, which is obviously, no, well, it's even spluttering there. 11, 11.1. Now, this way it gets a bit tricky because depending on where you are in the world, if you're where we are in Ireland slash England, it kind of has the same sort of weather. What you're looking for is around 14 volts when everything is turned on. Um, just make 13.9 minimum, 14.4 you'll be okay with. So in and around that kind of range when everything is turned on. Um, now if you live in a really, really cold place, your alternator can be up on 15, 16 volts if it's really, really cold. So it depends, or if, you, if, if it's really, really warm, it'd be slightly less. So it depends where you are in the world to exactly, basically, what your alternator needs to be producing to run the car properly. But in England slash Ireland slash that kind of weather, you know, crap, <laughs> is around, you know, 14, well, 13.9, 14.5, preferably over 14 volts with everything switched on. So that's basically it. I now know the old nature is faulty. Now, depending on how long you've been, this woman didn't, she doesn't really drive it at night, so she only drives it during the day, so she never leaves the lights on, so she hasn't really noticed the problem until then. She could have had this problem for three or four months, so there's a chance that the battery is gone as well, because if the battery hasn't had enough juice been pumped into it over the last three and four months, then there's a good chance the battery is dead. So what I do suggest is put a new battery, get the alternator reconditioned, you're going to be sorted, you have no worries. That's what we're going to do on this car. Now this is just to give you a rough idea of what a good one should kind of look like. Obviously this is a petrol engine rather than a diesel engine, but you're going to get the idea. And I put it on there, we've got, and I put it on there properly, we've got 13.7, 13.8. Now that is, that is really on the minimum, but to be fair, it is a petrol engine, so it doesn't need as much juice. Uh, that is absolutely fine. So that gives you an idea, that's with everything turned on as well, that gives you an idea of what it should be. Upside down, but you get the idea, fingers in the way now. Now, there we go. Sorted. Right, YouTubers, as you can see, I've put it back in. What was wrong was the rectifier has gone in the alternator, so we've got that changed. We have a new battery as you can see and when I put it on you can now with the lights on and my hands out the way we now have 14 volts so that's what I was saying before we only had 11 now we've got 14 and the way to know if your battery is gone basically if uh, you can't start the car and you put the you, you put the the charger on and it was put in 14 volts like it is now but the car still wouldn't start that's when you know your battery's gone so we replaced both of them new battery got our alternator fixed so we're sorted as you can see that's what we should have now 